Hey guys, today is the fourth episode on the 2JZ build and hopefully I can have the engine running by today. Today I'm going to do the wiring and Marika is going to help me. <laughs> Few lines, wiring, getting the engine in, doing the exhaust and hopefully tomorrow we can take the entire car with the engine in to a friend of mine and then we can make a custom drive shaft, make an automatic shifter for his car and give the 2JZ a full service, cam seals, uh, rear main seal, front main seal, timing belt, water pump, etc. A lot of parts to make the engine up and running. So first we're going to start on the fueling. I'm going to put three meters of fuel line from underneath the car, from the fuel pump to the front of the car. That way the engine gets fuel, which is quite important to get an engine running. And then we can continue on the exhaust and other things. The banjo bolt will go on here. Make sure it's clean. Now we're installing the new fuel line and after that we can put the engine in the car again. And now let's route the fuel line all the way to the front. So the feed line for the fuel is done. This is the return line. So hopefully this line is long enough and this one certainly is. Now the fueling is done inside the engine bay. I can lift the engine, make sure all the bolts are secured and then put it in the Volvo 940. Since I'm going to put the engine in today and try to start it while the engine is out, it's really easy to replace the oil filter. So I'm going to take this one out. Let's get the new one. And as always, when installing a new oil filter, loop up the O-ring with some fresh oil. You don't need a lot. And when installing the oil filter, like I always do, just hand tight, it's more than enough. Yep. And then of course, clean up the area around it. Well, the oil filter is changed. New oil filter on there. When the engine is in, I'll put some fresh oil in here, 5WD30. The engine mounts are tightened. The dipstick for the automatic transmission is installed again and all of the wiring is on top of the engine. So I think it's time to drop the engine in the Volvo and then make an exhaust for it, do some intake stuff, coolant and then wiring. And after that, hopefully it's before five o'clock or six o'clock and we can fire up the engine and then do service on it within a few days. The engine is in and this time we did it within three minutes so it's going pretty good. The return line of the fuel is already on and now I'm going underneath the car to put on the fuel feed line and then we can move on to the exhaust. The fuel lines are on the car, now I'm working on the lines for the power steering. So I'm trying to figure out which hose needs to go on where and all of the lines but I think I've got it right and now it's slowly starting to go really quick because when I'm done with this I can start on the wiring and 
Yesterday I've done a little bit of research and it really isn't that hard. It needs a lot of switched and constant 12 volts and a few other inputs, but that's actually it. Here's the old feed line in the back. So I'm going to hook this one up. Tuck them away very nicely and Marike is cleaning the engine bay because the paint in the engine is actually pretty good. Good job. <laughs> and here in the back also. So now we need to get the same result on this side and I'll continue on making an exhaust now. Now let's take this thing under the car and see how it fits. I won't be needing to make a lot of adjustments because I took off the catalytic converter, cut it in half and I probably can weld it just on here. So let's take a look underneath the car and then do some welding and more cutting. After test fitting everything like a million times... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> How it should be. So now I'm going to fill up <laughs> this giant hole, reweld this thing to the exhaust, and then I'm done with the exhaust. It won't look pretty, but it will work. Well, I just finished the exhaust and like I said, it isn't the prettiest one, but it will work and that's what's important. So now I'm going to attach this one underneath the car and yeah, this is 2JZ Aristo and the rest here all is Volvo and I will retain the stock exhaust for a while until I go big single. That way this really is a sleeper, which is absolutely epic. And the diameter is 2.25 inches, so that's enough for like 300 horsepower, which this engine delivers. And a 3 inch free flowing exhaust would probably be a bit better, but this will be enough. Oh, <laughs> fitment! Finally, what a nightmare, but I got the exhaust in, so I'm really thrilled. And Marike did an absolutely amazing job on cleaning the engine bay on both sides. It looks wonderful, and also these things, the headlights, everything. It's always a lot of fun when your girlfriend helps you. Let me show you what the exhaust looks like underneath the car. Let me get a light. Underneath the car, here is the catalytic converter of the Volvo. And here it's connected to the rest of the exhaust. And get on there. Almost like it was stuck. And there's more than enough clearance here. So that's perfect. And <laughs> it took me like two and a half, two to two and a half hours, which is long enough. <laughs> I just have done a bit of wiring, removed some more cables here, need to tidy up this thing tomorrow and I got this positive terminal for the battery, need to hook up some other positive lines, one from the alternator and one from the starter motor, this one, but I will do that tomorrow. When something looks good, it's more fun to work on it, so the engine bay Looking like this, all nice and shiny, with the awesome 2JZ in there. Yeah, it's just a blast to work on. And all the water lines here in the back are installed. Today we also did the exhaust, fuel lines, the power steering, and a few other small things. So this is the fourth day I've been working on the car. Progress is going pretty good. Wiring, unfortunately, I haven't been able to do it today again. <laughs> 
If you are liking the videos on the swap, make sure to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, share the video, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.